Hello wonderful people, welcome to a new day of renovation. So today I have a technical problem that I want to see if you guys can see. As you saw in the last episode, we began the renovation. Here's a small recap. This is how the place looked like when we signed the deal. On day one, we removed out the ceiling just to check what's behind it. On day two, we ordered some sand which arrived on that day and then we started to extend the ceiling just a little bit. Day three, we removed all the wiring and everything that was on the ceiling to make the work easier. Day four, we continued working on the ceiling of the whole gym. On day five, I brought my pregnant wifey to check out where I've been spending all my days. Okay, you like it? More on her later, by the way. Day six, we worked on the bathrooms, wall, and tiling. Day seven, we fortified the ceiling, and that's when the metal ladder got stuck. Welcome to a new day of construction. Today, we are hanging up the hooks for the rope climbs. Very excited for this part because once we hang up the lights, it's gonna look very sexy. <clears throat> so today I have a technical problem that I want to see if you guys can see. On this wall, this is the field that we want to put in the pull-up bars. These pull-up bars must be sturdy because a lot of people are gonna be pulling on them. Um, but these walls they are made of block cement, which means the inside is kind of hollow. So that means when you penetrate it, there's a risk that the inside is, because it's hollow, there's nothing inside, it may not be strong. To give you an example, this is, this is one of the two pillars that are gonna be hanging on the wall. Um, if it is strong, one thing we can do is just add cement on the places where we're gonna be putting the screws. If it is not strong enough, we'll need to add more cement on the whole pillar or on the whole wall. So, we're going to start with the first test. First, we're gonna uh, hang this thing as it is, and then we're gonna do some heavy pull-ups on, on it, maybe some swings, some butterfly pull-ups, anything to make it come loose. Um, and let's see how it goes. See, look at that. Hey, I'm going to quit. Now, there's a way. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are So, we have our answer. We tested it, we bolted it up. Luckily, it's strong. It's really, really strong enough. Ah. But I'm happy about this, because this thing would have cost me so much money if I had to add uh, cement to the whole wall. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. So the next few days went by quick. We worked on isolating uh, the ceiling from the heat. As you know, it's, it's quite hot in here. Uh, started hanging some posters around the gym so that the neighborhood could know what's coming soon. So right now we are in the month of April and the gym is busier than ever, but it is also our anniversary month. So we celebrate the four years of Chigali Fit. As you also know, April is the month where we remember the genocide against the Tutsi that happened here in Rwanda. This was my first time actually going to the genocide memorial with my trainers. Here in Rwanda, it is a tradition to bring your employees to the genocide memorial around this time to educate, to remember, and just to make sure that history does not repeat itself. When the genocide happened, personally, I was six years old. So every time when I think about this subject, I always think it through a six year old feeling like, you know, I'm just a small kid who does not know much. But then I realized that all of my trainers were born after the genocide against the Tutsi. So, so that makes me actually the old one. Now back to the renovations. Now that the main job is done, we can work on the fun things like painting. Choosing a paint is not easy, guys. I learned a whole lot of things about painting, pricing of paint, and, and all of that stuff. But I'm glad now that the gym is starting to take shape, you can see the progress. So finally, after like five days or so, 
something that I thought would be done in one day, I'm paying double the amount of money in triple the amount of trips. I finally got the color, the main color of the building. So now we can finally finish up the touch up and hopefully bring the equipment in by next week. Guys, as you can see, my shirt is all dirty now, but the move is successful. We've been able to pick up all of my lingering gym equipment here and there. They have arrived here. Um, now it's time to sit down and unpack and assemble everything. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that in the next episodes. If you like this kind of videos, guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And I would like to see you in the next video. Say hello, wifey. Yeah. So during the midst of this renovation, uh, yeah. my wife Delise here was pregnant around six months. This was also quite a challenging situation for her and me as it was our first child that we were expecting. And it was uh, quite exciting, I must say. Here we went for another doctor checkup because one day Delise woke up and saw she had blood in her underwear. So we all panicked and didn't know really what was happening and went to this uh, clinic in Nyarutarama to do an echo where the doctor told us that it was just a, a small thingy that's normal or that can happen so that the baby was fine and we are very much relieved. When I'm not in the gym doing the renovation, I'm really with my wife uh, going to doctor's visits and uh, taking lo lots of pictures of the baby and the belly is growing every day, loving it and uh, the baby even sticking his tongue out right now and yeah it was uh, quite challenging but while the baby is not here the gym is almost ready and now it's time to bring the trainers to see the gym for the very first time Thank you for watching guys stay tuned for next episode where we'll open the gym officially and we'll show you how everything looks like bye